Life is good. We're safe. And at times, it's very relaxing. That's what's so great about this country. But there's a reason all of what I just said is true. Some take it for granted. Others could care less. Me? I thank them every chance I get. This sea of white headstones can be found in most major cities in America. I look out at a view like this and can't help but think of all those men who fought through hell. Some died on foreign soil, some came home. But every one of these headstones has a story to tell, with no one to tell it. All of these stories will go unheard for the rest of time. It's quiet here, but these headstones scream a million words for those who will listen. These were my heroes growing up. They didn't wear spandex, a cape. Hell, their underwear was underneath their pants. If it wasn't for the greatest generation, we would all be speaking Japanese or German. That's why telling the stories of those we have left is so beyond important to me. We are losing these heroes too rapidly. So my mission is to sit down with as many as I can, to let these unsung heroes have their chance to be heard, before it's too late. Dear God, in a few short hours we'll be in battle with the enemy. We do not join battle afraid or ask for favors or indulgence. We only ask that if you would use us as your instrument for freeing the world. Dear God, we don't know what our fate might be. We only ask that if die we must, we'll die as men would die without complaining or pleading, safe in the feelings that we have done our best for what we know is right. Dear God, watch over us, our families, watch over us in the fire ahead, and with us now as we pray to you, move out.